meets Scooby, a trained, lovable, and completely adoptable Chihuahua who is found as a stray. <laughs> Volunteers have the opportunity to socialize with the animals to give them the attention they need. Okay, let's go outside. Staff and volunteers are provided with the proper supplies from donations. Scooby is crate trained, neutered, and loves to cuddle. It is estimated that only one out of every 10 dogs born will find a permanent home. Hi. More than 35% of cats in shelters are found as strays. More cats are euthanized than dogs because they are more likely to enter a shelter without any owner identification. At Almost Home Foundation, I walk the dogs who are there so they can stay happy and healthy. We got our last two dogs from Almost Home Foundation. I volunteer there every day because it feels good to help. The biggest problem animal shelters face is overpopulation. Because of this issue, animal shelters often turn to euthanization as the easiest solution to the problem. To stop this inhumane killing of animals, people need to adopt. I think that a lot of times when you adopt an older dog from a shelter, they could be scarred or they could have it could be harder to train or something like that, but the, the truth behind it is they're the same dog as you would get at a puppy mill or next door to from a breeder and they just want to be loved. They just want to be loved. <laughs> There's enough of them out there that need a good home, <laughs> so there's no need to have to, uh, you know, go to a breeder. And a lot of times with breeders, you've really got, you're not sure what you're going to get. I mean, I know there's a lot of good breeders out there, but the dogs, the, the gene pool can be so limited and the dogs have health problems. And I think uh, you just get a great temperament dog and you're helping. By buying animals from breeders, you're contributing to their overpopulation. The process of adopting them was super quick, super simple. We knew we wanted a dog, we talked to the people, we saw our dogs, and we took them home within that week, usually within the day that we went there. It was that day she, that she came to our house to see if we had, you know, just to do a home interview. So we had him within a week. Each year, approximately 7.6 million animals enter animal shelters nationwide and of those, nearly 3 million are euthanized. Well, it was different for both of our dogs. Leo, we got when he was um, very, very, very young. And he, he was just a baby, so he was, he was pretty quick to transition. He was pretty quiet at first. And then Henry, it took a while. He was really, really scared for a while. Um, but you just earn his trust and everything throughout time and it didn't take long, I think probably about a month. It's definitely better to adopt from shelters because there are already so many animals in shelters who need homes. If you're looking for a new pet, you should definitely adopt from a shelter. I recommend going to a shelter and giving a dog a second chance and helping to rescue another dog in the world. I adopted my cat Gigi from an animal shelter and I highly recommend it. it changed my life for the better. Oh, I completely recommend other people to adopt from a shelter. I think that, um, I think you can get a great temperament dog that way. They're mixed. I think um, you know you're doing something really good because these dogs, if they stay there and they don't get a home, they're going to be euthanized. Hello, mother. Hello, father. Please take mosquitoes. Really bother. Thanks for the package. That's why I'm writing. Canine Advantage quickly stopped all the biting. Swimming, hiking, intent pitching. They're not biting. I'm not itching. Can't wait to show you all my new tricks. Thanks again for sending me.